Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Sagittarius, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Sagis, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Sagittarius uh, spirit. Alright, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Sagittarius, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, judgment. Somebody wants a second chance here, Sagittarius. <laughs> Some, somebody wants a second chance or maybe they feel they've been judged now by their person. Uh, they feel that uh, the person who they want doesn't want them anymore. They feel that the other person is exhausted of them, tired of them, given up on them, doesn't love them anymore. And that's actually making this person feel quite depressed and sad and they feel lonely and they feel like they made some very unwise choices in the past they want to talk they want to clear the air in fact i think they want to apologize to the other person the other person says well uh, things were not really working out maybe it was a third party situation or something they feel yeah i'm moving on i'm moving on they, they refuse to make a decision they refuse to make a choice they were always holding back so you know what i'm manifesting new things into my life according to the other person this connection was too too toxic or they felt this was not working out i mean that's what i'm getting of course i'm going to clarify all these cards for you sagittarius and then we'll see finally what actions you guys will take but before that let me ask the universe let's see what the universe wants to say spirit tell me uh, what's really going on behind the scenes why is sagittarius and their person feeling this way Sagittarius and their person. All right. So the first card I have here is longing. Someone is yearning and desiring you. Yeah, I think somebody is very sad and depressed that they lost out on a wonderful person in their life. Now, soulmate, you were meant to meet this person for a reason. So now recognizing that this is a very strong bond, a soulmate connection, there's longing going on and codependency. Someone may be relying too much on this connection. So there could have been some codependency issues in this connection. Maybe one of you had a codependent relationship already and could make up their mind, could go a lot of ways, right? So there was something to do with codependency, which maybe broke you guys up. So before I clarify these Sagittarius, let me also do your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify the rest. Sagittarius and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Sagittarius, Sagittarius and their person. All right, let's take a few more from another deck. Sagittarius and their person spirit. Sagittarius and their person. All right, just a few more from a third deck as well, and then we'll start the reading. Sagittarius and their person spirit. Sagittarius and their person. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Sagittarius, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataru at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, will you wait for me? I don't like to admit it, but I could really use your help right now. I'm struggling to do everything alone. I have nightmares of you being with others. I deserve this karma. Let me start over with you. You may not be perfect, but you're perfect for me. I can't handle you not being in my life forever. For now, but not forever. I'm having a hard time believing 
that you really love me. It really hurts me to have to keep my distance, but I just can't give you what you deserve at this time. Somebody never made the right decision. Though I haven't always said it with words, there is love in the silence. Close your eyes and feel my presence. Be still and listen to me tell you that I love you. I keep reading our old text messages. I made a mistake. You've helped me discover my psychic gifts. Thank you. I'm trying to be the person that you see me to be and never thought I could be that person. I just want to hold you now. It's been too long since you held me close. I'm aching for you. I think of you before I sleep. I dream of you all night and then I wake up and I think of you again. All right. So these were some of your messages, Sagittarius. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But before that, I'm going to take an angel blessing card. And this is going to be for the viewer, the person who's been sent to listen to this reading today. So it could be you, could be your cross watcher, a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for the viewer. And the card I have here for you, viewer, is blessings of abundance well abundance doesn't just mean money you are going to be blessed with all the goodies in the world if you're on the right track and doing the right thing if you've learned your lesson okay so spirit now tell me let's start with person a's energy and newcomers please remember these are not gender based i'm not guessing which side you're on because i could be dealing with two sagis right on both sides so if this is your reading and you've been resonating till now then you'll pick up immediately which side you're on who this person is in your life for you it could be yes a love interest a spouse an ex a secret crush could even be a business partner or a relative or a best friend so uh, use your judgment there so right now I'm going to focus on one side only once I'm done here later we'll move to the other side so person A in your feelings in your emotions I see the Empress in reverse yeah I have a feeling somewhere person A never th didn't want this connection to end but right now they're very very disappointed they feel they lost out they, they could be spying they could be trying to you know gather information about the other person uh, they feel uh, the other they're trying to find out I think if the other person is still single but they there is a bit of worry that maybe the other person is not or they don't want me back anymore uh, somewhere why person A is spying or snooping or trying to figure out all these things because, because they want to have another chance i think this per person a really does want to have one more try uh, they want commitment with the other person now they want to go and offer their full heart and everything to person b now they want to work things out with the other person if you guys had a conflict they want to end the conflict and you know restore peace in this connection but uh, right now they could be seeing the other person as really strong or maybe getting a lot of victory in their life and maybe single or independent and you know so they are watching they are watching and they are worried that maybe now that i want them maybe they don't want me back somewhere they are afraid that the other person is totally exhausted of them tired of them has probably given up on them already uh, nine of wands in reverse nine of wands yeah and they are expecting the other person's pushback now it's like they don't they won't want me back why do you feel this way why do you feel that they won't want you back because i think in the past person a behaved in a bit of a selfish self-centered manner maybe they were only thinking about themselves they could have made some promises to the other person and broken them maybe they did, never offered anything long term or committed or didn't stand by their side you know for the long haul something they did and that's what's making person A realize that now that they are lonely and sad and reflecting I think they are now getting enlightened to the fact that oh my god that was a very unwise and foolish choice this person is reflecting thinking hoping praying asking the angels for guidance wondering how they can now rebuild with the other person especially 
after the way they behaved this person could have been very arrogant maybe they you know was selfish like i said or they thought everything was going to go their way all the time now they say, they feel oh my god that was really unwise i seem to have lost my power now yeah this they are going through um the dark night of the soul right now feeling devastated especially now because they see the other person very very glowed up if they see the other person is doing really well they're getting a lot of success in their life they are being you know applauded and they are shining bright oh my god they must be having a lot of options now right so they are, they want to know the truth they're trying to figure it out one way or the other because i don't think you guys are talking right now i don't think there's any communication between the two of you so how do you see the connection now person a how do you see person b and how do you feel about this connection ace of swords what's the ace of swords ace of swords somewhere person a feels they want to talk they want to clear the air they want to talk about all the unrest that happened i think they want to come back and offer their whole heart to the other person see if there is a you know possibility of a partnership they just want to know i think if the other person is still single and waiting uh the person i could be maybe even deciding that maybe i could go in with an apology or something uh page of cups page of cups but somewhere they are scared yeah they are scared they are scared they'll going to look like a loser they feel they'll look like a loser somewhere they feel after all the disrespect they showed the other person they probably will make a decision to say no they won't want to reconcile look at them look at them they are so happy in their life making all their dreams and wishes come true so there is a the person is kind of stuck they are kind of anxious they're going through all the question answers in their own mind uh, fearing that it's too late and now the other person has already turned their back and we may not even accept an offer from them so there is a fear there is a fear but they still want to know <laughs> they still want to know so they're trying to keep tabs so what action person a will finally take i will open later sagittarius let's go to the other side see let's see what how the other person is feeling now so person b uh let's talk with you now uh, what's the three of pentacles in your feelings in your emotions Oh, person B says right now, Kara Taro, do not disturb. I'm totally focused on my work. I'm, you know, meeting new people. I'm working on new projects. I'm busy, you know, uh, on my new endeavors, my work life, my stabilizing my future, getting my world organized, and I'm focused on my future right now. Chariot. I'm moving forward. I'm not moving backwards here. And why? Because they feel uh, there there is nothing to go back to. the what they left behind was an unstable foundation or there was no commitment or it's over so person b is right now head down single minded focused on their money on their finance on their you know stabilizing their own life and totally focused on their future Be because they i think person b has come to the realization that hey this one is over this connection is already over too many bad memories created here i mean i'm not even thinking about them anymore in fact day by day i'm becoming stronger i am now sitting on my white horse and and i'm moving towards my own victory and success uh, i'm compensating yes because i never got the 10 of cups i was dealing with somebody who was very rude very mean who wanted to keep control and it was all about them and they were always playing mind games so now that i've released this toxicity from my life i'm not going to sit and lack for the rest of my life i'm not going to sit and worry and cry and feel bad in fact i'm making different choices now uh and what are those tell me more uh, why do you feel this way person b what's the lovers yeah person b says if they didn't make a choice then i'm going to again the chariot my person b is really in their you know full blown active energy where they are they are taking back their power in a very big way they feel that the other person never made a choice so i had no choice right i had to move on they kept secrets from me they i i mean i was discontent in this connection and never got an offer from them till one fine day i realized that you know what it's time for me to turn my back on this i can't stay stuck and you know bound and chained to a situation where there is no future 
I have to focus on my own happiness. I have to focus on making my own dreams and wishes come true. I'm not going to even think of a reconciliation with somebody who treats me like an option in their life or who puts me into third parties. Maybe person B got to know something. They got to know something about person A and that's when they decided, no, person A is too immature. I'm not going to deal with somebody wishy-washy or, you know, a player. Uh, it seems like I am only doing all the work all the time, but now I'm giving up. I'm exhausted of them, tired of them, I'm giving up. I'm not going to deal with somebody who's immature and pretends to have all the power and control and be egoistic and all that. Uh, no, I'm taking my power back. All right, so that was a mouthful. So person B, tell me, uh, how do you see the connection now? How do you see person A and how do you feel about this connection? Person B says right now, uh, one second, what's the magician? Person B says, right now I'm manifesting. Omkara Tarot, do not disturb. I'm focused more on my new journey. I'm manifesting, you know, my work life. I'm work, um, focusing on bringing justice and balance into my life. I'm focusing on finding a love who will be available and who will show me love. Somebody who's honest, somebody who's forthright. And yes, I do have a lot of options, you know. I do have a lot of options. I mean, look at me. I'm glowing right now. I'm attracting a lot of attention, you know, I'm focusing, because I've been focusing on myself so much, people are seeing my worth and value. Uh, according to person B, what they were dealing with in the past uh, was maybe a karmic connection or they, they felt angry because the other person never took a leap of faith and never made a fool out of them. So person B says, yeah, I mean, I accept that I fooled myself into thinking this was a true blue soulmate this was probably toxic i need to release this i need to give up on somebody who was just playing mind games with me who never had any intentions of having a long term with me so omkara taro let's not talk about them let's talk about me look at me you know I'm, I'm busy becoming stronger by the day and moving towards my own success so that's it so Let's see what actions you guys will take then. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Sagittarius. And while I shuffle this, this deck, may I now please request you, remind you, if you could just uh, tap the thumbs up button for me, please, Sagis. Um, it helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated. And newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. So person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Seven of Pentacles, they are very, very disappointed. Very disappointed because they feel, I had an opportunity. I should have invested when the time was right. Why didn't I invest? Seven of Pentacles. Four of Swords, yes, this person is reflecting and probably feeling they're getting some karma. They are feeling they're getting some karma. As much as they want to now start anew with the other person, they are wishing and hoping for that. They know they'll probably have to maybe just come with an apology or something. And that would on only be a very big thing if person B would even accept their apology. So the rest they know that they don't have the power to make the choice anymore whether there can be a transformation or not they know that all they can do is apologize and then it's up to the other person whether they will be forgiven or whether they will you know act, uh, want to have anything to do with them so somewhere they are uh, they do want to start a passionate brand new beginning if they feel if the other person forgives me that would make me really, really happy. That would make me jump with joy. They want to talk, they want to apologize, but they are not sure if they will be forgiven or if they get forgiven, whether the other person would want to have anything to do with them. So they're disappointed. They know what they did. They've been reflecting. So person B, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Ace of Cups. Person B is filling their own cup, filling it to a point where it's brimming with happiness and love and joy for themselves and possibly, possibly attracting in a new love for themselves. Uh, Ace of Cups as your action. Person B, what's the Ace of Cups as an action? 
Eight of Pentacles. This is self love. The person B is heavily working on themselves. Again, see, single persons, head down, sitting on their desk and growing their pentacle, giving themselves all the love and care. And yes, attracting in a true blue soulmate who will be their perfect partner. Somebody who's well to do, somebody who's taking responsibility, who's going to love them, who's going to be, be with them. Yes, absolutely. They are tired of people, uh, you know, stealing their energy and, you know, cheating on them, lying on them. It's like, yeah, you know what, I need to shut that chapter down once and for all. And let's start anew. Let's start from scratch. A brand new life where first and foremost, I become strong and then I pull in a partner uh, who will be equal to me but by then by till then person B says I'm happy to be single I'm happy to just work on myself see from the eight of pentacles to the nine of pentacles and then yes the universe will send me that last pentacle in the form of a brand new soulmate and then I have the ten of pentacles so it, then they are totally sorted in their mind so what's the judgment card then spirit what's the overall why is this the overall energy for Sagittarius, the judgment card. What's the judgment card doing here? Judgment card is usually either somebody uh, judging the other person or mm, wanting a second chance. Ah, strength. Five of cups. Two of wands. Hermit. King of cups. This is, I think, person A who's trying to gather up their courage. They're trying to gather up the courage. They're thinking of how to approach the other person, maybe in reflection mode. Yes, they do love person B, but maybe they've never really expressed it. They could have lied. They could have cheated. They could have ghosted in the past. And that's why they're sitting in all that sadness and saying, I wish I had the courage to ask for a second chance. They are obsessively watching person B though. They are obsessed with person B, seeing them maybe glow up and do really well. And all they can think about is the fond memories of the past and wish they could get a, another chance. I think now they've come to the realization that this was a soulmate. They're sitting very discontent, very, very sad, discontent. And uh, imagining that the other person is maybe having a lot of attention and they've lost their spot now they may not even choose me back but i wish i could get a second chance so that's what i have for you till next time then sagittarius love and light take care namaste